CNC machine safety. In this video, we'll recall the tools required to use and install a vise and review safe work practices prior to machine operation. Safety should never take a back seat to getting the job done. The machines that we work with on a daily basis are precise and powerful and do exactly what we tell them, but it's us that makes the mistake and overlooks key details in the shop. Stock can get dropped, we trip, chunks of material can get flung around in a mill, so it's important that we take the proper precautions when working around some of the heavy machinery. For PPE or personal protective equipment, we have safety glasses for our eyes, hearing protection, and protective shoes. Your shop may have specific requirements for safety, so it's always important to follow your employer or shop guidelines and be sure to add anything you need to keep yourself safe. In addition to things we need, let's talk about a few things that we don't. We want to be sure we aren't wearing jewelry. We want to make sure that we remove any rings or watches and bracelets as these could be potential snag points that could get caught in a moving machine. While these CNC machines have enclosures, they can be set up to stop or slow down when the door is opened. We still want to reduce the chance of getting injured. We should also remove any additional items such as necklaces or earrings. And again, these are based on your shop requirements. We should also consider what we're wearing in the shop and around the machines. We want to make sure that we avoid big baggy clothes as it's a good idea to have tighter fitting shirts and make sure they're tucked in. Long hair should always be secure and tied back. And while these guidelines are more applicable to manual machines, such as a lathe or a knee mill, they are good general guidelines. With ourselves taken care of, there are some general rules around the shop that we want to make sure we follow. Not only is a clean shop more efficient, but it's also much safer. Make sure that your area is clean, the floor is dry and free from debris and liquids. Make sure your workbench is organized and that tools are properly secure and not left in the machine. Now this is by no means a replacement for any safety training, but a guide so you can understand some considerations when working around these big machines. 